where after a very long F minor interlude where he just keeps playing this, suddenly the music modulates up a fourth from the key of F minor to the key of B flat minor and plays the same music. So B flat minor to E flat minor, all black keys, B flat, E flat, G flat. Now, now you just drop the middle note so it's B flat, D flat, and G flat. Then you go to E flat major, B flat, E flat, G. Then you repeat, but the E flat's always major, always G natural, right there. Okay, middle third chord's the same, B flat, D flat, uh, G flat, and then back to E flat major. Now we go back to B flat minor as though it's all gonna repeat, but it doesn't. You do four of these, and then suddenly the big chords come in. This is a four note E flat minor, one, three, two, five. Twice. Then make it major by adding a G natural on the top. After those two, you just have transitional chords. C octave plus a fifth. Crossover with two for E flat and G. Again. Now the same exact motion on the D flat major. D flat, A flat, D flat, F, A flat. So those two together are this. It's simple for a while in the left hand. We're at a B flat minor seven. B flat F A flat. There's no third. Leave the B flat alone and play B flat E flat G B flat. This is a complete E flat major. And back to B flat minor seven. You just alternate these two for a while. The E flat major isn't exactly the arpeggio they do in the song, but it's really really close. That stays that way till the end of the section. Okay, so the right hand obviously modulates to B flat as well. Once you've played it, whatever it is, like a fourth time, and you do those long notes at the end. Na, na, na. The melody starts to get more interesting with the flutes. So you do the B flat octave leap, and then you come down the scale. Uh, B flat, A flat, G, F. And the final two notes were E flat to G. Then you come down an A flat major scale from E flat, five note scale. Landing on a C, then I want you to substitute your second finger so you can play. That's B flat, E flat, F, C, B flat, C again. Now this time, B flat to F and A. This one leaps up the octave and comes down the scale, landing on that final G. So I'd have to practice this to get the hands together, um, you know, but basically you're on B flat and you've done the last melody, so. minor hits with the C natural in the right hand, so it's... There's some overlap going on, that's why I'm messing this in. We 
you might want this to be down an octave. So maybe you should do this big, the walk-up thing, down an octave like this. 